the link to MTG Burgeoning's Introduction to Plane Chase in the description below. The Zephyr Maze's static ability gives creatures with flying plus two plus zero, and creatures without flying minus two minus zero. Whenever you roll chaos, target creature gains flying until end of turn. Our opponents will think that this plane is for the birds, and they'll be right to do so. If I were playing Plane Chase Commander and I wanted to include the Zephyr Maze in the planar deck, then I would construct an EDH deck in order to exploit this plane's static ability. The first general that comes to mind is Sephara Sky's Blade. Sephara can be cast from the command zone by tapping four creatures with flying and just one white mana. This is a steep discount considering her mana value is seven. She's a great Voltron option. Another option could be Inia's The Gale Force. This Jin's attack trigger creates shenanigans by shifting control of various non-land permanents on the battlefield. Or maybe Una, Queen of the Fae, in a dedicated fairy deck is more attractive. Pump oodles of mana into Una for the purposes of creating fairy rogue creature tokens, as well as whittling away our opponent's libraries. Perhaps Kanji, Sky Warden, in an Azorius build, pairs best with the flying theme of this deck. Or... Include all of these generals in the 99 of an Alila Artful Provocateur deck inundated with flying artifact creatures like Hope of Jirapar, Hovermere, Silver Raven, Baleful Strix, and Ornithopter. Depending on your preferred deck colors, some additional flying-centric cards to consider are Archetype of Imagination, Favorable Winds, Ethereal Absolution, and Thopter Sky Network.